Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I think I'll uh, uh, say this is more of a comment, if that's okay. Um, I thought of uh, saying this because when Brother Abdul Rafa mentioned that the way to teach your kids is to look at the Prophet Sallallahu example, and what he mentioned was treating them like adults, talking to them, taking their advice. The reason I decided that I think it's, a, it's appropriate to say this comment here is because I'm facing four scholars who have a lot of influence and talk to a, a national audience, and I would like, if you agree with this message, for it to be passed. I think one of the reasons our youth is where they are, and our ummah, in fact, is where they are, is because the women have been kicked out of the masajid around the world. And it is a phenomenon that happens in, the, in America, even though the people may not call it kicking out of the masjid, but to a lot of women, we are kicked out when we have kids. When a child like this is crying, or the baby is crying, they are put in a different room. You have now 60 women praying with 120 kids. Those kids do not get the tarbiyah that they would if they were in the main musalla, standing next to their parent and learn how to behave in the masjid. And this is something, uh, this is a small example of what's happening on a big scale. Adams, alhamdulillah, treats women much better than many masajid. But there are masjids now who actually have rooms sealed um, with, with soundproof uh, you know, sound barriers. Um, I mean, the, the walls are made soundproof, and that's and they call it the cry room, and that's where the uh, mothers are supposed to be. What ends up happening is this mother who has, a, let's say, three kids, even if a mother has only three, three kids at, with three-year intervals, you are kicking this woman out of the masjid for about, let's say, 12 years of her life. And if she's not welcome in a masjid, what do, where does she get her knowledge from if she is a stay-at-home mom? And she can, of course, yes, we all can be super moms and go internet classes, yes. But the bottom line is, if she's not welcome, what ends up happening is the, the mothers are a lot of times the primary tarbiya givers in the family. And if they lack on it because of lack of knowledge, then they will not be able to give tarbiya. And our ummah is in this situation, I personally believe, because women were kicked out of the masajids around the world. And I would like this message to be passed on so that masjids can be more uh, sister friendly and children friendly. And it came to my mind that never would the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell all the women with children, sister, it's better for you to pray at home. Or sister, go in that corner and pray. Instead, they may, the Prophet may have said, may have said, that sister, if you cannot concentrate, then you pray at home in, your, in your room, the one who doesn't have a kid. Or maybe make a room in the masjid for those who can't concentrate, but not to kick the women out of the masjid. Jazakallah khair. I, I, al al alhamdulillah, I, I just want to say to the sisters that who have been here for the first time to Adams, welcome to Adams, bring your children. We love to hear the sound of children or the, uh, the, the fathers, but also we require also, we like you to, as the sister said, to have your child try to pray next to you and to take off the child. Uh, many people object me when I said, uh, even some of the brothers, every time I said, brothers, if a child cries, have mercy on the mother, don't get upset. Because just look to what Rasulullah Sallam did. When the child cries, Rasulullah Sallam shortened the, the surah, he didn't say, Assalamu alaikum, assalamu sister, don't bring your children to the masjid. We are fed up with this. You know, stay home. You disturb our khushu'a. Do you think Rasulullah was not concerned about his khushu'a? Or the sahaba, radiallahu alayhim? Brothers and sisters, the masjid of Rasulullah was an open masjid for men and women. They come to the masjid, they learn the masjid, they uh, converse with the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and we have recorded history and authentic history of Rasulullah life. And therefore, we would like really that to be changed, the attitude, especially some brothers have very negative attitude of sister being present in the masjid. They many times recommended recommendation that we need to have them disappear from the masjid. And I said, brothers, I will not do anything that Rasulullah have not done. The welcome, sister welcome to the masjid, children welcome to the masjid. And Jazakallah khair sister for the point that you mentioned. And I do believe that uh, part of raising good children by having a friendly message for youth, for mothers, for children. Jazakum Allah khair. I would like just to thank. Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, but I want to add something. Yes, yes. We agree 100% with Imam Majid, but I, I would like to add something. 